Hello everyone. In this video, this is the lecture series where we are going to see about the previous year VTO questions and I'll be discussing about the questions and also the mark weightage or the split up for that particular question. And also I'll be showing you the scheme that is how it is evaluated, which are all the important points that you have to highlight to get the full marks. So this is introduction to Internet of Things. BET CK 105 or it can be 205 depends upon the physics or chemi chemistry cycle that the students are choosing upon. So now coming into the module 1 you have odd choices same wise till module 5 you will have odd choices in the module. So now here module 1 you have 3 questions and module 2 you sorry module 1 the odd choice have 2 questions. So the split up is actually 20 marks for module 1. So here you have 5 5 marks split up. So you have 3 questions. So what is IOT? Explain the sequence of technological developments leading to the shaping of modern IOT. So here you will be completely explaining about what is internet of things in detail and the developments in the IOT to show that the IOT plays an important role in this field. So that you will be seeing. And then, so the first question is over now. Now the second question, explain the different network topology. So you would have learned about bus topology, ring topology, and different star topology. All those topologies, you will be drawing the diagram and explaining what actually the topology refers to. And then, with the help of a neat block diagram, explain ISO OSI layered network model. So you all know that OSI model is a seven layer model. And you will be drawing that particular block diagram for OSI model and explaining each of the layer which contains total of 10 marks. And now our choices explain various enablers of IoT and complex interdependencies among them. So IoTs as a single cannot stand by. So you will have some interdependencies among the IoTs. So you will be explaining what interdependency is. So that types is carrying 10 marks and finally the question is define m2m cps ioe iop brief the difference between iot and m2m and iot and wot so you are going to explain all these four m2m cps ioe all these in detail and you will be showing the difference between what is iot and wot m2m right so that is carrying of 10 marks so now moving into the scheme, definition of IoT. So it is nothing but it is a device that is connected globally and you can tell that as in, it is an internet technology which is going to store all the real-time data. So that is IoT and the next part of the question you will be writing about the other meters that is what are all the other technologies that is contributing to IoT. So these are the contribution. So you, for this explanation you will have 4 marks and what is definition of IoT you will have 1 mark. And the next question was upon the network topology. So you have 4 topologies here. So draw all the 4 topology diagram with explanation which is 5 marks. And you had OSI layered architecture. So these are the first list down what are all the layers. So that layers you will be explaining with a diagram and the explanation will be carrying 6 marks and the diagram will carry 4 marks. So totally it is 10 marks. So in the OR choices you had enablers of IoT and complex interdependencies. So this is the diagram for complex interdependency like how the gateway is and Zigbee, RFID, Bluetooth, all those and how mobile laptop works and converse, conversion of algorithm. All those are the complex interdependencies. So these are the enablers. So for this diagram, it carries five marks and explanation for that complex interdependency carries another five marks, totally contributing for 10 marks. And the B was B question was you have to define about all these 
topology that is M2M, CPS, IOE, IO, IOT, all these IOP and the difference between those three. So these all explanation carries five marks and the difference between the both the terminologies carries another five marks totally contributing to 10 marks. So now what is the module two question? So now module two, you can see define sensor, classify various sensor based on power requirements. Yes, sensors, it will be classified. You will be defining what is sensor and the power requirements for sensor. And then B is functional blocks of typical sensor node. So you will be uh, drawing the functional blocks of the sensor node and define actuators and its type so you are telling about what is actuator and you are listing down the types of actuator so for all these three the marks is 884 split up and now here you can see what are the major factors influences the choice of sensors in iot based sensing solution yes you will be determining the factors that is influencing the choices so sensor cannot be selected randomly you will be choosing the sensor based on some terminology. So that terminology is referred to as choice of sensor. Right. So and the next question is sensing different sensing categories. What are the sensing categories? You will be determining that the types. Okay. Next is ca characteristics of actuators. So you, it is not that you will be determining what is characteristics and types of characteristic. You should also know what are all the characteristics that an actuator should give so that the particular system is functioning properly. So that carries six marks. So eight, six, six. Totally, how much marks it should be carried out? It is carried out. That is 20 marks. Okay. So module three question also here you can see classify IoT processing topologies and explain them briefly. So you are going to tell the different processing topologies. And the second question is what is processing processing offloading? Explain different data offloading. So you, you have offloading process. So you will be completely determining what is process offloading and what are the different data offloading methods available. So 10, 10 marks, 20 marks. In the or choice, you are again having 20 marks. But it is split up into 7, 6, 7. So what are the different data formats found in IoT network traffic streams? So you will be drawing the data formats of the IoT for that network traffic. And you will be explaining those data frames. And second one is explain different types of data to be processed based on the ur urgency of processing. So you will be determining the types of data that has been processed. All those explanations carry 6 marks. And explain the designing factors for selecting a processor for a design of sensor node in IoT device. So you will be determining, listing down the factors for selecting a processor, which carries 7 marks. So moving into the scheme. So here the definition of sensor will carry 2 marks. And the power requirements that you are telling is you will have some requirements. So when you list down all those requirements, and in one one line, if you explain all those, that carries six marks. Don't just list down like this. You can just explain in one or two lines, which will add more value. So that is for six marks and two marks, totally contributing to eight marks. And sensor node in IoT. Now you are going to draw the architecture sensor node in the IoT. And you will be explaining each of this. So that is six marks and two marks for explanation. So totally eight marks. So the Next question, C question was what is actuators and its type? So explanation of actuators will be one mark. And the time types you have to list it out and just write it in one word what hydraulic actuator is, pneumonic actuator is, electrical actuator is. So that carries four marks, right? And now the next module three, uh, uh, module 2 question, the second or choices, major factor influencing the choice of sensors. So these are the factors. List down all these factors. You may get 2 marks. And once you explain each of these factors in detail form, totally it covers 6 marks. So 2 marks in listing down and explanation fully carries 8 marks. And sensing categories. So you will be determining what are all the sensing categories of in IoT or these of the sensor. So these are the categories: scalar sensing, multimedia, hybrid, and virtual sensing. Listed down, which carries two marks, and explanation carries four marks. So totally it is six marks. And you will be the next question is 
characteristics of different characteristics of actuators so these are the characteristics available weight power rating torque to weight ratio stiffness and compliance so all these are the characteristics of actuators when you list it down it is 2 marks and when you explain it it is 4 marks so totally it is 6 marks so moving into the third module the first question was iot processing topology so you have offloading processing on on site processing off site and on site processing so you will be explaining what is on site processing what is off site processing and the uh, sub topics under off site processing remote processing and collaborative processing so all these carries totally 10 marks and next b question was process offloading so process offloading it is for 2 marks you will be determining what is process of offloading that is for 2 marks and what are all the different offloading methods available that is that carries 8 marks so totally it is 10 marks so uh, with a diagram and explanation it is carrying 6 marks and 2 marks so on site local what are all the different uh, ranges that is uh, required in data offloading methods all those carry 6 and 2 marks with weightage so totally it is 10 marks so moving into the next 6a so our choices of module 3 what are all the different data formats or the structured data so this is this is carrying so here structured data format and structured formats you will you will determine what it is and you will be writing it for totally 7 marks and 6b question is different types of data to be processed based on the so what are all the uh, what are all the types of data that can be processed time critical normal very time critical so you will be listing down and explaining it which carries totally 6 marks and c is deciding factor for selecting a processor so what are all the factors uh, for selecting a processor so these are all the seven factors size energy cost memory input output rating processing power add ons all these you will be listing down and explaining each of this in detail which carries totally seven marks so this is for module 3 and now module 4 define cloud computing and its advantages so you will be defining what is cloud computing and advantages of using cloud computing and the second question is what is virtualization explain the advantages of virtualization so the same thing you will be determining the definition of virtualization and you will be listing down the advantages of virtualization and next explain the different types of virtualization so you are going to you are not only going to give the definition here you are also going to list down the types of virtualizations available so totally the split up is 6 7 7 7 totally 10 marks sorry 20 marks and the or choice will be with a neat block diagram explain cloud model so you will be drawing the complete block diagram for the cloud model and explaining each of the model in detail which is 10 marks with neat diagram explain the components used in an agriculture iot it is a kind of case study so you will be listing down what are all the components you are used for agricultural iot why agriculture iot is required so with neat diagram when you explain it it is for 10 marks so next is module 5 with neat diagram explain the architecture of vehicular iot explain the components of vehicular iot advantages of iot in transportation so architecture of vehicular iot you will be drawing the architecture block diagram and explaining it here you will be explaining the components used in the vehicular iot that is also with a diagram and then you will be listing down the advantages of iot when it is used in transportation so totally 8 8 6 20 marks and next or choice in module 5 is with neat diagram explain the components used in healthcare iot and the advantages and risk of healthcare iot so so complete uh, healthcare iot you will be explaining with two different questions which is consisting of 12 and 8 marks so totally 20 marks so now moving into the scheme so what is cloud computing so that cloud computing Uh, definition it is carrying 2 marks and the advantages of cloud computing carries 4 marks so cloud computing is nothing but it is a pool of many resources available for the storage it is a single network available for that storage so totally it is 6 marks so b question was virtualization what is virtualization and advantages so this is the 
virtualization definition and the advantages will be th there are uh, some around four advantages so you will be listing down the advantages and explaining that advantages so virtualization definition is two marks advantages is five marks so totally seven marks and c question was types of virtualization so now you will be listing down all the virtualization types and you will be writing each of the types with detail in detail note so totally it is seven marks so eighth question was cloud model so you will be determining what is cloud model model and you will be uh, writing what is sas what is pas or what is ias and in deployment model what what are the types that is private community hybrid public all those you will be explaining in detail so for this you will it carries five marks and for this it carries five marks so totally 10 marks and b question was components used in agriculture iot so for the diagram you will be uh, you, uh, it will be five marks and explanation will be for another five marks and then you had uh, so totally it is 10 marks and then you had architecture of vehicular iot you will be drawing the architecture so diagram carries four marks and explanation of it carries two marks so totally it is six marks and components of vehicular iot so the explanation for the components carries two marks but the complete diagram is carrying the highest mark so six marks advantages of iot in transportation so you will be listing down what are the advantages available uh, mean used uh, in the transportation when iot is used you will be listing down all those which carries two marks and explanation of all the listed down advantages carries another four marks so totally it is six marks so the final 10A and 10B question, 10A is architecture of healthcare IoT. So you will be completely drawing a big diagram of the architecture of healthcare IoT where diagram carries six marks and the explanation for that particular framework carries another six marks. So, so totally it is 12 marks. And finally, B question is advantages and risk of healthcare IoT. So advantages you will be listing down and explaining in detail which carries six mark and risk of healthcare IoT you will be listing down and explaining it which carries four marks. So six plus four, totally 10 marks. Hope you have understood how you have to present your paper to get, gain more marks. Please be stay tuned for more information. Thank you.